All right, welcome back for our third session on the math tutorial videos. Again, I'm Andy Brown, Climber School of Real Estate. I want to start off by taking my jacket off. I decided to wear one of our lucky Climber School of Real Estate shirts. I'm sure you know by now that if you buy one of these shirts during the class and wear it to the, to the exam, it will bring you lots of good luck. Now, I wanted to mention something. In the last video, I did question 97. That was the one where it had the three houses and one sold for more and the next one sold for more. you got to be very careful. Don't memorize my numbers. For instance, mine was 4,000 more and then 6,000 more. If they change that around to 6,000 more and 4,000 more, it'll give you a completely different answer. The state pass rate on the first time exam is only 50%. The pass rate for second time takers, I, I think 33%. And if you don't believe me, you can Google state exam pass rates. They do that on purpose. They will try to fool you. So you've got to know the math. Don't memorize my numbers. Remember, take a deep breath, read through it slowly, figure out what they're asking you, which always comes at the end, and then work your way with the information. All right. So in my lucky Climber Real Estate School shirt, I'm going to do question 98 now. Question 98 is on the free practice exam that's available on the website. Once again, if you have not downloaded and printed and tried the 10 questions yourself, please stop right now, work the questions, and come back. All right, so now you're back. 98, I'm going to read the questions slowly. A real estate salesman had an arrangement with his broker to keep 70% of the total commission. It's like a net listing question. He sold a house that also listed for $250,000 and his check was $14,000. What was the commission rate? So right off the bat, they're asking you for the commission rate. The answer, by the way, is A, 8%. So if you got it right, follow along. If you didn't get it right, just pay a little more attention. What do they give you? The broker kept 70% of the total commission. He sold a house that listed for $250,000 and his check was $14,000. Question from the students. Did you say the broker kept 70% of the commission or the salesman got 70%? A real estate salesman had an arrangement with his broker to keep 70% of the total commission. We talk a lot about percentages. Just remember, if they give you a number and you have to figure out what the larger number was with a percentage or a decimal fraction, you always divide. You'll multiply. You always divide. So that's how we're going to start. The salesman got to keep $14,000, and how do we know that? It's in the problem. The arrangement was he got to keep 70% of the total commission. So since we need to know what the total commission check was, the larger amount, we're going to divide this number by the 70%. How do we get from a percentage to a decimal? We move the decimal plate over two spots. One, two. So we're going to divide 14,000 by 0 0.70. If you take your $4 for function calculator, that number is $20,000. The total commission was $20,000, but that's not the answer we're looking for. We still need to know what the commission rate was. So what else do we know? The house sold for $250,000. The commission was $20,000. The house sold for $250,000.
hopefully you've done this already ahead of me, but $20,000 divided by $250,000 is 8%. And actually, what do you got in your calculator? 0 0.08. Again, remember how you convert decimals to a percentage. Move it over. And the answer is 8%. Now, I'm not done yet. I mentioned before, you get every single answer with every single question. It's one of the four. You just have to figure out which one it is. So if you're comfortable with the math, you can also back into it. But what I want to do by showing you that is make sure that you check the math on your answer before you push that submit button. So we're going to do that real quick. I think the answer is 8%. So how do I work backwards and make sure that that's right? Commission's 8%. That's how you're getting paid. We sell the house for $250,000. $250,000 times 0 0.08, and I've already converted 8% to the decimal, equals, on your calculator, $20,000. My commission of that gross commission check is 70%, says in the problem. So I've got to multiply $20,000 now by 70%, which is my cut. And I've already converted 70% to 0 0.70. And on the calculator, I get... $14,000. So I know that my answer is right because I checked the math by backing in. If you got some time and you do that for these other three, you will see that the numbers don't match. And if for some reason you think one of those other answers is right on the state exam, you will know it's not. Go back and work it again. And by the way, I promise you, you're going to see a question like this, if not the exact question on the state exam. So you've got to know it. Now I want to mention, there's also a math book that we sell, also by Linda Crawford. She's the University of Florida professor that makes the, the, the textbook that we love. This is a math, real estate math review book for people who really want to keep it simple. You've got to know your math. You might consider getting this when you come in. You want to get all 10 out of 10 on the state exam right. Okay, so that's question 98. Let's finish with question 99. First thing, it's the first thing we always do. Read the question carefully. If a person borrowed $50,000 and paid 6% interest, and they paid a total of $750 in interest, how long did they have the money? First thing with math word problems, we've got to know what they're asking. It's at the end of every problem. How long did they have the money? So it's going to be, you can see the answers are in years and months. In this case, the correct answer is B, three months. How do we get to that correct answer? Another memory peg. This looks like the other memory peg, except we've added time. T is time. And in all real estate math problems, time is in years. So sometimes you have to convert your answer in a decimal of a year to months. For instance, how many months is half a year? Six months. How many months is a quarter of a year? Three months. So if your answer is 0.25, but the answers are in months, you know they're talking about three months. 
So what do we do now? What are we looking for? What did the question ask? Time. This is what we're looking for. The formula becomes, remember, move it out, T equals I over P R. What do we know from the question? I, income, $750. P, yes. What did you say the I stands for? Interest? Well, it's the, I'm calling it income. It's not the interest rate. In this case, it's the interest pay. I called it income. It's still dollars, but in this problem, interest paid. Income to somebody, let's stay with the problem. Excellent point. P is principal. How much was the original principal? It's in the problem. 50, $50,000. R is rate. What's the rate? It's in the problem, 6%. I'm going to convert it to decimal, 6%. Move it over two decimal points. If you do the math on your $4 for function calculator, what do you get? Zero point two five. Everything in real estate is in years, so that's zero point two five years. Quarter of a year is three months, or B. But I want to show you how I would do it. It's a little bit of a, it's a different way. It's easier for me. If you borrow fifty thousand dollars and you're paying six percent interest from the some of the other math scenario questions we talked about, how much interest do you owe in one year? Now, I know I'm going fast because I keep converting from my words to the board the percentage to the decimal. Move it over 6%, move it over 2, so that's 0 0.06. If you take your calculator, $50,000 times 0 0.06 is $3,000. How much interest did our fake person pay in the problem? $750. I can divide through $750 divided by $3,000 and I get Now think about this also while you're doing this and you're getting more comfortable with math. What's half of $3,000? $1,500. So if this is for 12 months, $1,500 would be 6 months. Since we know they pay $750, that's half of $1,500. Half of 6 is 3. When you have the math and you have the right answer, all the numbers work together. It doesn't matter what direction you go. That's how you do 98, and that's how you do 99. Remember, we're on your side. Those scoundrels making the questions for the state exam, they're not on your side. They want to fool you. They want to trick you. Take a deep breath. Read the question slowly. Go to the end. Make sure you know what they're asking for. Go back into the questions. Pull out the information that you need to answer the question. Get rid of the stuff they put in there just to trip you up. You'll do fine. Keep studying hard. We'll see you in class at the review.